Hi there, my name is Andre Lawrence and welcome to EQ Episode 2. This is Episode 2 of Evolution Quickies and in today's video I'll be giving you a quick update on the CamWipe product which is for the Kia Niro, regardless of whether it's gas, hybrid or electric. Now in the middle of 2020 I released a video about the CamWipe version 1 and version 2 and since then there have been some developments. This is actually version 5.0. I'll put a link to the video that came out in 2020 up here on the screen for you to check out later, but essentially the cam wipe is an attachment that goes on the pivot point of the wiper arm, and when you get the wiper going, it cleans any junk that's on your rear camera, so when you back up, it's actually useful. Now, I wouldn't own my Nero without one of these, since owning it, it's proven to be invaluable. Now, let's have a look at what the differences are between this new version and some previous versions. Just a quick disclaimer before I get to the next part of this video, unlike my usual product reviews, I have been receiving the CamWipe for free from Eldar at CamWipe in Sweden since version 1.0. I usually always pay for the products with my own money, but rest assured, I am completely impartial and my opinion is always going to be as honest and authentic as possible based on the performance of the product, not on the price that I pay. If you've been following my channel, then you'll know that in one of my more recent videos, I installed the CamWipe version 3.0. Now this is a small evolutionary step in the development of this product. The version 2.5 is actually quite similar. Both have the flat back, the 3D prints are a little bit different, but the 3.0 has this tiny bristle brush, like a toothbrush, as opposed to this bigger one that's on this. Now the big change in terms of design comes with version 4.0 and higher. Version 4.0 and higher are actually developed on a 3D scan of the little plastic cap that goes on the pivot point of the rear wiper. Now version 4.0 looks pretty similar, but if you were to see this up close, and I'll put pictures of this up on the screen for you to see in the bigger comparison side by side, the version 4.0 actually has this rounded and filled in design the head itself doesn't have the brush exposed, it's a completely filled in design, it looks very integrated, and the brush is now more like a paintbrush as opposed to being a toothbrush design. Now this actual 4.0 is the one that I tested on my car recently, and version 5.0 is the same except for a change in the 3D print where the direction of the print is different because when I removed it from my car, it cracked, Let's see if I can get that to focus here, it cracked right here. So 4.0 was a great version, except the 3D print was in the wrong direction. And that is where version 5.0 comes in. This is the final version that has the little paintbrush style brush, has the completely closed 3D scan design, as opposed to this flat version, and is quite elegant. And this is the version that I will be installing on my car. I'm curious to find out how this little paintbrush type style is going to work in the winter on thick snow, as opposed to this, which is more of a toothbrush style. But this one looks pretty good installed. Let me show you how to install it now. Now, if you'd like a more detailed version of how to install this on your car and how it works, showing you versions from inside and outside of the car with water spraying down on that camera while the wiper is going, then please check out that video that I linked to earlier and that is in the description below and you'll be able to see the full details. Now to install this cam wipe is quite simple. Let me show you how to do that now. All you have to do once you've removed the cap that goes on the rear wiper is to take the cam wipe and you've got these little pins here that are inserted just like that and then clip it into place and you're done. Just in case you're new to this channel, you might not know I've got some social media links that I'll put in the description below and up here on the screen for you to see. If you've already bought me a coffee on Kofi, then thank you very much. I really appreciate it because every penny counts. If you could consider clicking on that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it as well because it tells YouTube that you like my videos and makes them share it to more people and hopefully they'll end up subscribing to help my channel grow. Now, if you could also consider clicking on that subscribe button, that would make me happy because it tells me that you really like what I make and makes me want to make more content. And once again, thanks for watching. If you've been following my channel, then you'll know that in one of my more recent videos, I installed the CamWay version 3. Version? Version. Which is actually based on a 3D scan of the cap of the arm in the back on the. 
the latest version 5.0, which are both based on a 3D scan of the original cap of the cap for the of the cap of the cap of the cap 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 free of charge since I received my first one, but that in will I cannot speak and it's annoying. If you've been following my channel, then you'll then you'll now that's why our version 5.0 comes in, and he has reversed the direction of the screaming children in the background. Speaking of subscriptions, if you would consider clicking on that subscribe button because the percentage of people that watch my videos versus the number of people that are actually subscribed is kind of low and it's a little bit of a bummer. If you would subscribe to my channel, I would once again really appreciate it. And again, thanks for watching. Once again, once again, once again, I'm like a stuck record.